Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem. And the problem's name is existence of a substring in a string and its reverse. So we're given a string S and we need to find any substring of length 2, which is also present in the reverse of S. Our task is to return a Boolean value, either true or false, if a substring exists satisfying this condition. So let's take the first example given to us. And what is that they're asking? We have to find a substring of length 2, which is present in S and also reverse of S. So let me form the reverse of S. And now we have to find substrings, right? And the substring size should be 2. And we have to check if that substring is present in both S and reverse of S. So first I'm going to form substrings of length 2. So let me add those all substrings in a list. So ED is one such substring. Then we move the pointer and find this substring. DO is one substring. And let's do the same for all the substrings. OC, CT, TE, EE and EL. So we find all the substrings of reverse S. And these are the substrings of reverse of S. And now we find substrings inside this input given to us. So first we check LE is the uh, substring. And now we compare if this LE is present inside this reverse string substring. No, it's not present. So take the next substring. Next substring is EE. Check if EE is present inside the reverse string substrings. Yes, EE is present here. Since there is a substring in S and also reverse of S and it is of length 2, we return true as the output. So 2 is the output which is expected. And in any cases, if you form all the substrings and in the end if you are here and you checked all the substrings and still if you didn't find anything inside this, we return false as the output. Now let's take a look at the code. So here I'm writing a helper function which will reverse string. And now I'm creating a list which will hold substrings of length 2 on the reverse string. So I create a string and I'm calling this helper function inside this and this will return the reverse of the input string as. And now I'm uh, writing a for loop which will form substrings of the on the reverse string. So it will start from 0 until the length minus 2 index and in each index position I'm taking substrings of length 2 and adding it into the list. And now I'm iterating through the string as to form substrings on the input string S. So I'm taking substrings of size 2. I'm checking if this substring is present inside the reverse list substring. Inside this reverse list, if this condition satisfies, will return true and will come out of the program. And after you come out of the for loop, and if you haven't returned true here, you will return false. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n, and the space complexity is also O of n because you're using a list to store the substrings on the reverse string. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.